The trace amine receptor is a, an example of what's called a GPCR, or a G protein coupled receptor, uh, which is a protein uh, of four to 600 amino acid long chain of amino acid protein sticking in the cell membrane. Uh, and when the neurotransmitter binds, it causes a shape shift or shape change in the protein that will cause another protein inside the cell called a G protein to bind to it, cause a shape change in that and an activation of the G protein and then this activated G protein floats off and binds to other proteins and activates them and those proteins will produce things like cyclic AMP or uh, phospholipid uh, uh, metabolites that then float around inside the cell and activate other things that uh, turn on enzymes called protein kinases, and the kin protein kinases phosphorylate various things, including transcription factors, and this turns genes on and off. So the binding of a neurotransmitter or a putative neurotransmitter like DMT to a GPCR can have a multitude of complex effects inside the cell, uh, among which are turning genes on and off uh, and changing sort of the long-term uh, functioning of the cell in some way, including how tightly it's communicating or connecting with other neurons and glial cells and so forth. And the GPCR type receptors are uh, the most uh, abundant and variegated kind of receptor in the brain. They're you know, hugely important for brain function and also for functions in other parts of the body.